you guys, it's me, Fabla, and you are watching Ask Fabula, where I answer all your fashion branding and business questions without all that fluff. So it's been a while, of course, but if you have been following me at Fashion is a Business, or where well, it's actually at Fashion is a Biz, and at Fabula Designs on Instagram, then you'll see what I've been up to. So go ahead and follow me. So we do have a question for it this week, and I'm trying to get the groove of things, of trying to make these videos a little bit more often. So if you can't catch us on YouTube, you can catch us on our fashionisabusiness.com under our blog and all of these videos will be on here just so that you don't miss it. And if you're not a part of the Bulletproof Branding membership, you do have access to that as well. So our question is, how do you, how do you stay motivated and inspired with everything going on in the world? You know, there's really not a straight shoot answer for this, but I'm going to tell you my two cents. And, um, I would think I would break it up into three. So the first one would be routine. Have, add a motivating routine. Do you meditate? Do you chant? Do you do something in the morning? Do you pray? Do you take some time for yourself to really think and really understand your thoughts and really just dive into what inspires you for the day? Adding a routine for meditation or even just thoughts or prayer really creates a silence me mechanism that you're within yourself and you can really listen to those dreams and you can even inspire yourself by actually thinking uh, what you aspire to be or where do you see yourself. It's kind of like back in the days when you were watching Disney World and you're like, I want to be a little princess. I want you to remember that same feeling and how you can sit with yourself and say, I see myself on this fashion week or I see myself selling to four different buyers this week. Everything is all about perspective. So start a routine because that routine could lead to making your dreams come true. So the second thing I would say is keep positive people around you. Sounds hard, right? It, it's really not that hard, honestly. You know, we are always online. We're on Facebook, we're on all these social medias, and we don't realize that there's a lot of toxic people out there. And even the people, even if we see it, it actually goes into our subconscious and we're just like, oh my God, keep positive people around you. Start adding people that you know, like inspirational speakers or your favorite authors, preachers, or people in the world that you aspire to be. Remember, when you keep a network around you that's completely positive, there's no downtime for you to even think about negative thoughts. And of course, it's very natural, but I guess you will have a great reference. Number three, I would say is do something different. Every single week, at least challenge yourself to do something different. Maybe go watch a movie, a documentary, or take a ride in the park somewhere. Do something completely different that you've never done before. I try some things new. See, in the fashion industry, it's all around us. We go to the mall, we go to the store, we're online, we see these emails, shop now, and we're always surrounded by fashion. So take yourself out of that element and uh, you'll be surprised that you may be inspired. So that is all the questions. If you have any questions, go ahead and email us at branding at fashionisabusiness.com and I hope to see you next time. And uh, remember, fashion is a business.